Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Rhino Scleroma. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Rhino means nose and scleroma means a hardened patch or induration of skin or mucous membrane. Rhino scleroma is therefore a chronic granulomatous bacterial disease of the nose that can sometimes infect the upper respiratory tract. What is the causative organism of Rhino scleroma? Rhino scleroma is caused by a gram negative bacillus called Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis. It is also known as Frisch bacillus. What is the pathology of this disease? The mode of infection is still unknown. It starts in the nose and extends to nasopharynx, oropharynx, larynx, trachea and bronchi. Rhinoscleroma has three stages. They are atrophic stage, granulomatous stage and cicatrical stage. In atrophic stage, the disease resembles atrophic rhinitis. That is, there is foul smelling purulent nasal discharge and crusting. In granulomatous stage, painless and non-ulcerative granulomatous nodules form in the nasal mucosa. There can be subdermal infiltration of lower part of nose and upper lip which gives a woody feel. In cicatrical stage, sclerosis and fibrosis takes place. There will be stenosis of nares, distortion of upper lip, additions in nose, nasopharynx and oropharynx. Coming to the symptoms of rhinoscleroma, there will be nasal obstruction, rhinorrhea, epistaxis, dysphagia, nasal deformity, Anesthesia of soft palate and difficulty in breathing. This is how a patient with rhinoscleroma presents to you. How do you diagnose a case of rhinoscleroma? Biopsy shows infiltration of submucosa with plasma cells, lymphocytes, eosinophils, mucolytic cells, and russell bodies. The mucolytic cells are characteristic of rhinoscleroma. They are nothing but large foam cells with a central nucleus and vacuolated cytoplasm containing the causative bacilli. Russell bodies are nothing but homogeneous eosinophilic inclusion bodies found in the plasma cell. This picture shows the histopathology of rhinoscleroma. You can see these cells. These cells are the mucolytic cells. And this shows the lymphocytic infiltration. How do you treat a case of rhinoscleroma? Streptomycin in a dose of 1 gram per day and tetracycline at a dose of 2 gram per day are given for a minimum period of 4 to 6 weeks. Surgical treatment may be required to establish the airway and correct nasal deformity. Thank you.